Ugh. So, this is just going to be a quick video. This is one of the ones I don't like to do, but I always feel I have to. And I usually feel like I should leave it up. Or, I feel like I'm trying to communicate with the greater YouTube community out there that might be into the same things that I'm into. That's how we all connect anyway. Whatever. Um, woke up this morning to some pretty horrible news. I mean, there's no way to make it. There's no good about it. Um, if anybody knows anything about me and my channel, one of my favorite bands of all time um, is an electronical dance band called The Prodigy. <clears throat> and I woke up this morning to the news that uh, Flinty, Keith Flint, yeah, the guy with the blonde mohawk, um, has passed away. And apparently he took his own life, so. That's very difficult. It's There's so many different ways and why it's difficult to accept and believe and just have to bear. I didn't know the guy. I wasn't friends with him. But his music, he founded that band, and his music influenced me so much over my life. You got to feel it, right? Especially when you've had your own band, you know. And not have that same the same amount of adoration for your band as they had did to theirs. It's not jealousy. It's just trying to live vicariously a little bit through people, I guess. But all I know is that I love their music. Had nothing to do with my type of music, maybe other than the energy and whatever vibe helped me. You know what I'm saying? I. It's just getting to the point now where I mean I'm on here yesterday talking about how I don't understand life and. How I'm all fucking depressed and all this shit, and there's seems like there's no meaning to my shit. And one of my favorite fucking artists, is somebody who's obviously rich as a motherfucker. It's just proof that the the money ain't gonna say it solve shit for everybody. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of addiction he had or some shit, but I don't know. The fucking one of my favorite people on earth fucking took their own life, and. I know I'm not anybody's favorite person on earth. So, I mean, like, who gives a fuck about me anyway? Doesn't mean give me any kind of green light on some shit. I'm just trying to understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, my life feels fucking horrible lately. And then somebody that I'd love to just go see, which they were planning on doing a U.S. tour, and if myself was on the up, like I've been trying to do the past couple of years, I'd go to a, I'd fly just to go see this fucking band and fly right back, even if it meant a day trip. Well, that's not happening anymore. That's not even a possibility anymore because the fucking leader and one of the main three guys of the band just took his own fucking life, so. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I know I don't mean to laugh. It's not funny. It's just weird how fucking the world is these days. So y'all gonna see it on the news and everything. Yep, another fucking rock star takes his own life and whatever. They'll tack it up to whatever it is. You never know if you'll ever know the truth. And that bugs me even more because it's one of my favorite fucking bands. So, oh man, fucking rest in peace, fucking Keith, Keith Flint, dude. I hope you can, even though you, you know what I'm saying? That's why you identify. You're like, would I do that? Or... What's the consequence? Or is it better than some other type of fucking death I might be having? You know what I'm saying? It makes you think, dude. And it's something you just got to move on with, I guess. But now now there's even more music that I can, can't listen to without getting totally emotional about it. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Either way, the prodigy for fucking life, dude. Rest in peace, Keith Flint, dude.